All right. So we're at an undisclosed location today in Nottingham. Nottingham, England. I'm a Robin Hood. To film some content today with Wingfest. I'm not 100% sure the motive. I think we've got three different wing shops to try in and around this area, working with Wingfest to promote Wingfest. Eat some great wings of Rich. Let's catch up, let's go inside. Griller events as well, so we are. The production behind Wingfest. We're well, also very late, aren't we? Yeah, uh, slightly, yes. 23 minutes late, we still need to get to the first place. Whoops. <laughs> This video is brought to you by German Donner Kebab, who have just relaunched the legendary two for one Tuesday. Let's go. For those that don't know, that's two kebabs for the price of one. Get in there. Now this incredible deal applies to all of the mains. The OG Kebab, the Berlin, the Donner, the Coco, the Cow, and the Dorito Crunch Burger. There you have it. I got both of these, look at them, for $6.99. It does not get better than that. As you might have seen from our reviews, we absolutely love this place. And mark my words, it's just as good on the taste buds as it is on a Tuesday in the pocket. Now, let's dive in. Look at this. Big, sexy, saucy kebab. Look at that. Come on, people. I've gone for the mix. Salad, all the sauce. Absolutely heavenly. Ladies and gents, you cannot get fairer than that. Bosh. There he is. Hello. Hi, mate. This is Gorilla HQ. I said an undisclosed location, but oh. I'm sure it's worked out. <laughs> Hi, my friend. Good nice to see you. Are you well? Yeah, good to see you. Callum. Hello. See you as and well. the people. Do you want to say hello? Oh, and the people, of course. Hello, people. Good to so, see Rich, you. Just quickly, what are we actually doing today? We've got, we've got three different uh, traders to go and see, right? So we're doing a, um, a Nottingham wing tour. Is this, yeah. is this a betting process for Wingfest? This is more to shine light on the Nottingham wing scene or the Midlands wing yes. scene. Because as you know, we've got Derby Wingfest coming up. Yep. You and me did Derby last year. Yes. We, we did a little tour, but I think this year we'll do a tour of, of Nottingham. Same venue. The same venue, yeah, we're in Derby, same venue, Derby Bustler Market. Um, Cracker, by the way. Yes. Absolute barnstormer. Beauty venue. But in the last few years, we've got a few good fried chicken spots sprung up in uh, Nottingham as well. Yeah. yeah. So anyone that is remotely interested, what are you talking about? Wingfest, go and check out five locations. Chicken wing, chicken mayhem. Yeah. Should we go and see Dan and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recognise that from the yeah. show? Yeah. yeah. Huge cop. You love a huge cop. Oh, you? honestly. Gorilla events do good wood. F1, Glastonbury. Glastonbury. I'm talking, talking stages and bars and everything. I'm really, really good. Hence why the production at Wingfest is so amazing. Hi, mate. Hey. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. So we just have to make sure. Charlie, doing their thing. It's like an episode of The Office. He's on a call. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. Well, Matt's over. Craig, this is Matt. Hey, Craig, you're a new man. member of the uh, production team, helping out the World Fest as well. Yeah, this is Matt. Nice to see you, how's it going? Yeah, good. If you've not met Matt before, everyone, this hello. is Matt. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's been really good pleasure. You've met Matt before, haven't you? I have, you yes. Know. How are you doing? Definitely drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Money talks, right? <laughs> uh, here he is. Look at the size man. of this guy. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 Feeling good, mate. You're looking oh, great. Mate. Good to see you. Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah, you're right. Good to see you. Nice see you. What are you guys up to today? Just going to cross some wings. Yeah. Mollis, mate. We're going to be at Bustler for 5 pm. Yeah. To film Bad Boy Wings. Okay. And then maybe like have another drink at about three. Right. We might come over so after come that. Say, no, yeah, I'll, keep five, you, I'll keep you posted on our movements. Dad brought some beer that wasn't supposed to. What's, what was wrong with the first one? It's the wrong sponsor. Yeah. Tiny <laughs> Rebel. You've got to keep in the family for wing first. There you go. This is it. This is 11th birthday beer from Tiny Rebel. Look at that, look. Check that out. These guys are one of the best independent brewers in the country, and they're our new partners for Wingfest. So what, what, an, uh, what an absolute pleasure to offer you this. Thanks. Yeah. This is the like That's so slick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, right? Some electric boogaloo. Yeah, yeah. There you go. We can drink these. Right? Two, I was going to say, who's, is Callum doing the driving? So I'm going to drive. Oh, you can drink as well then. That yeah, I'll just drink fine. anyway. That's fine. Yeah. No, as long as you don't have any ice, yeah. no, that's fine. No, you need to chill those down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your lunch. See you in a bit, Dad. Thanks, mate. There you go. You can have them in the back with you. Yeah. 
Oh, you need a chiller it. in here. One day at a time, Rich. <laughs> So I'll try and get the plugs working. Amateur hour, isn't it? Well, there you go. You're good. I was going to move my T-shirt. No strippers either. What is going on? The old budget cut. Budget cuts. So, viewers, Matthew. What are we doing? Um, we're going now. We're visiting a restaurant called Mollis. M-O-L-L-I-S. New fried, elite fried, well, legend, allegedly elite fried chicken on the scene. Cocktail vibes, etc., etc. Something we see quite a lot in London, but new, new up this way. But um, Alex is the proprietor, is the owner, but he has another restaurant called Al Camilla, which is uh, got awarded its first Michelin star last year. Ooh. So he, this this fella knows what knows his way around a kitchen. A few moments later. Jackets, Callum. I think. T-shirt. T-shirt. So that then. It's indoors, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right. You ready now? Jesus, that was stressful. Reese. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? This is the man behind the Wingfest social media account. He's also my like man on the inside when it comes to Midlands chicken. He knows what's going on. Right, we're coming in. Let's do it. This is seriously cool, Rich. Cool, isn't it? I don't. I think they would have all, this would have, I'm not, I'll ask it, but I don't reckon this was anything before they were in here. I reckon they renovated here and next door. I think they were like old stables or sheds or something originally. No, it's certainly next door, I think. Stables? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like old stuff. Love I it, made love that it. Up. great vibes. I might have made that up, but I'm old pretty stables. sure I read it. I'm pretty sure you pre Yeah, no, it's old city, old city, isn't it? Robin Hood. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty sure over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You've right. done it, you've done it. Yeah. Right. Well, this is um, certainly cool. My first impression is very, it's getting, you're getting mad cool vibes. Looks great. Hey, how you doing? Very funky. Just to give you guys an insight of what we're looking at now, like the menu does look well. absolutely stunning. So we've got wings, six or 12, you'll have ten, tenders, Thai pesto, satay sauce, Honey mustard and then do ya. Gotcha gang, buffalo, blue cheese and pineapple. The word pineapple there really excites me because that's a, that's a wonderful addition to that flavor profile. I'm not gonna test myself here. Nam Jim, peanuts and kimchi. Definitely not your regulation sort of basic stuff here, Rich. This is excellent. Yeah. So yeah, and they've got, they've got a curated cocktail menu as well, which they say goes very well with fried chicken, which is nice. Not ideal for driving though, but <laughs> just as long as you don't have any ice. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. <laughs> and you're doing it for a straw. Yeah, that's different. It doesn't go in the same way. <laughs> um, yeah, the sandwich. All right, cool. I'm, 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 I reckon we want to, I mean, they've got a Just get a couple of sandwiches, I think. Hey, Matt, nice to meet you. Always a pleasure. <laughs> So I think we should get one of each wing. Yeah. But that would be great to start with. Yes. Yeah. And maybe like a couple of your chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. I always recommend trying the classics and easy good stuff. Well, easy the classics stuff. are a great way to start. Yeah. Mm. Just you get the... Uh, we'll say though as well, the Szechuan hot oil. They're the two. So yeah, the lobster mayo. Mayo. Yeah. yeah. Get that in my face. Fantastic. Do, do you, we, we don't need, do we need six of every wing? I mean, it looked good on camera, but yeah. do we want six of every yeah. wing? Come on then, we'll get Calum, this. Yeah. Calum, don't forget we're with the, the human. Uh, yeah, sort of. we'll get six of every wing then, lovely. Yeah, and, and any sort of, a, with the with the chicken sandwiches, maybe one portion of fries or something, just so it looks looks nice. And yeah. maybe, What size would you recommend? So I reckon I was trying the, probably, obviously the few veggie ones, which were always great, but probably recommend fries with pink bird potatoes are two quite good mix with it. So it's like a warm yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And the deal, the deal. Uh, gravy. Oh, gravy. Oh, this is gonna, this is the crack. It's gonna blow a load on the first yeah. place here. And but you we, know, sometimes. You... Yes, I want to say do six of all wings. Uh, the hot oil sandwich, classic. All to come up together, if possible. Yeah, no problem. That'd be amazing. Fries and pink birds. Oh, it's off, sir. Yeah. And get those drink as well. Please, yes. Recommend trying some of the cocktails. Yeah, I'll do. I think. You got I'm... any non-alcoholic cocktails? Yeah. We've got a low ABV beer, uh, I like cocktails though. We do have some sodas that we make the syrups for in-house as well. 
Hmm. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just this one. I'm gonna set out the cocktails. If I can yeah. have like a diet coke and Kellerman, do you want the same? Or? Diet coke, yes, please. Do, yeah. uh, or something like that, and then but Rich could be. Yeah, yeah I'll have a jot. I'll have a got you Jang tequila, please. Good choice. That looks. That looks. Yeah, be right with you. Well, yeah. Thanks, okay. my friend. Yeah, nice. Um, when we do these tastings, what I love is we've only got like three or whatever lined up, and you do blow your load on the first one, don't you? Yeah. Because you've starved yourself all morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's now two. And then well, you eat the menu. What means that when you then go to the next place, you have to really dig deep. To... I, did, I did cardio as well as one, so I'm extra fired oh, up. Oh, you're ready. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing a bit of fasting cardio, so this is going to be great. But look, it's good food, right? Yeah. That's, that's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is the time to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is got Mission Star background to, into, into the chicken game. Should be exciting, right? Should be the good quality. Should this be... should be really exciting because as a, he, yes. His restaurant next door is now in its second year of having a Michelin star. You, you're, so just, you're just not going to open next door. Unless you can uh, back up. Yeah, you're just not, why would you do that? If someone who's got a star has worked their entire career to get to that point. Yeah. Why would you uh, rubbish your name? By, I know it's only chicken, but I'd like to see some really special stuff today. I th and I think uh, if we start asking him about some sort of insight into his intel into his chicken, I think it will be stuff that we haven't heard before from other people. Chicken intel, I, I reckon that's gonna be... I have a feeling the way they will do their coating and the ingredients they use is going to be new. It's scientific, new, maybe. It's it's, to us. Yeah. New to us. Very interesting. So hopefully we'll get a chance to pick his well, brains. It's, some of the top chefs are very methodical with how they go about their business. They, they take chance out of it, don't they? They know that this ingredient will crisp, this temperature is exactly right. So. Ex exactly that. And because they <coughs> obviously play with so many ingredients on their menu, their menu through, through there. What, in, what is, uh, give, give us the thing. What uh, is, it like? is it a tasting menu? Or? Uh, yes, I think I had a tasting menu. And I was, yes, yeah, tasting menu. It's Alchemidas. I think it was a beast for tasting menu. Like a 12 courser or something oh, wow. with pairing wines. Um, one of the best meals I think I had last year. So to see them obviously doing fried chicken is quite something. But I guess he plays with so many ingredients through there. He's probably thought. Hang on a second. He's the owner of the the, the trip there, Jeff. Is yeah. it his thing? Yeah, yeah it's his thing. Yeah. Right. Wow. Hey guys. Mm. Okay. So these are your sandwiches to start. Holy smoke! Rest of the wings is coming out now. So that's your sash wow. pot oil. There your pink pepper potatoes. There's your fries, obviously, and there's your classic sandwich. That's a that, beautiful looking burger. Can we talk about that bun? Jesus. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. Like, we, we, everyone everyone knows bigger. how much we like a good bun, and this is what I'm saying. You're just you should not... record some of this for TikTok as well, by the way. Yeah. We're just not going to get... Get some of these sound bites like we're doing. Sorry, I'm talking over you. Here. We just don't. Uh, leave it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how that happens. Yeah. Communication. Yeah. On point. <laughs> these buns look. Oh, my God. Even the fries look good. Nottingham, you might have an absolute giant on your hands here. Oh, oh, chips. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, so this sorry. is your Nam Jim, that's your Thai pesto, this is your honey mustard, and that's your buffalo. That's your blue cheese dip for the buffalo, that's the Nijuja oh, good dip Lord. for the honey mustard. That's the satay for the Thai pesto, and that's the kimchi for the Nam Jim. Enjoy, thank wow. you very much guys. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. It's me. I gotta just... It's me, business. No. It's like a Power Ranger getting into yes, his outfit. Yeah, yeah. Superman. She's going to take her trousers off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow. wow. Where do you even start? Uh, I'm going off piece yeah, here. Go I'm having go a potato. Go <laughs> I'm going for a potato. Go on then, go on then. Go on then. <clears throat> so, these, I'll get weirdly excited by uh, potatoes. Oh, like that. Come on. Jesus. Actual, like, new potatoes. Look, it's like a whole wing. wing. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> yep. It's like a... Wow! Is it, a, is it a roasted? Is it deep fried? What? No, it's, it's just like I don't know. Yeah, that's delicious. Crispy. Sort of shit. Wow! Shallots on top. That's shallot. That is wicked. That's right. shallot. Right, enough of that. Let's get on the real deal. Remember the other day where you talked about choosing your pizza slice? Yeah. Like iron up where your toppings are. I'm... I'll select it, this one here. I like my uh, flats. I'm going go for this one. So this is the buffalo. I've got the buffalo. Let's just let's just dive in. Mm, yes, sir. Cheers, cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. To good health. It's to, to wing vest. Mm. Oh. Mm. What an incredible flavour. Wow. Wing vest. Mollis. Oh my days. It's juicy. I've got to finish this before I comment. <laughs> oh my god. Pineapple. 
What an incredible buffalo that is. That's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely just tremendous. Just, just something to sort of think about uh, what I want to say about that. Um, mm. Oh my God. The first thing you up, I am going to comment on is the standard. Lovely wings as well, aren't they? Yeah. The size of that, look. That's smaller drumsticks. Ginger kimchi type thing. I always feel like we need the menu again. We through it. Um, so, mm. so which way round was that? That was there. That's their buffalo. That's the buffalo. And that one is just. I can't, even put, cheese, I can't even put my finger on what flavour that is. Let's give it a little. Oh, looks good. I like the buffalo so much. I got it for round two. Right. Let's break down the flavours. I've got heat, but not too much heat. This takes you right to the edge. Takes you, takes, you, takes you for a walk right down Flavor Street. I'm double dipping that, by the way, sorry. Yeah, you're right. A couple of savages just going at it. Mm. Them Thai pesto. Yeah, I love them. Which look one? These ones? The, the, the ones on the left. They look sensational. I love pesto as well. Mm. Pesto on a wing. Never seen it. Mm. I've never seen it. I'm going for that. <laughs> just, just good. <laughs> right, flavour time. Is it gonna bang? I hope so. Oh, there we go. Mmm. Tastes refined. God, it tastes summery. It tastes like a, a chicken salad, like a. <laughs> does. <laughs> oh my god. It's like summer on a wing. Wow. Um, yeah, that's a definitely a new flavour for me on a wing. And, um, That'd be amazing with a, with a gin and tonic. I think it really, what's quite nice so far about the three wings I had is they're all very different. They haven't relied on loads of sugar and loads of spice to make like their flavors, which is, they're all very different. They're all quite like subtle in what they're doing as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're like, yeah. it's not, I don't, uh, there's not one that's overpowering the other. Wow, this is good, isn't it? It is good. How is everything? It's oh, good. Yeah, really it's good. It's really good. Just oh. remind us one more time what, the, what that one was. That's Nam Jim's like fermented fish sauce. It's different batter on it as well. So yes. It's kind of like a nice. Delicious. Yeah. Good. I'm enjoying it. Fermented fish sauce. Yes. You have a little kimchi. Wow. Like quite a bit of spice to it as well. Like, is it? Like a bit wow. Of, like, oh, that kind of this one's right. Like, that's honey mustard. Yep. And that's the Indonesian dip that goes with it. That's goes with that. How is the so what's what makes the batter different? Uh, it's tempura. That's like in that's the, the temp okay. that was. Lovely. It's got like a nice awesome. It's the same mm. as the sandwich. Like the same kind of yeah, you can see. You can yeah. see. Thank you. Yeah, lovely. lovely. Very different. Okay. Wow. That's different. Yeah, it's really different, man. Right, well on. Honey mustard staple. I'm gonna go in this whatever this is here. Oh, but that's so different. Mm-hmm. That's my favourite so far. Is that? Mm -hmm. Not sure, no. Huh? Very I, good. I, different I, I always like different when it comes to wings, because I guess because I'm lucky enough to eat a lot of them, when I get a new flavour, mm. uh, it resonates. Get the food, the tissues. What you are seeing is a major skill set, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Um, Half time spud. <laughs> yeah, little palate cleanser. Yeah. Spud. Mm -hmm. Great spud. Honestly. Great spud. Should we um, try a slice of burger? What do you reckon? What, one more wing. Oh, you've not done the honey mustard? Have you done it yet? Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's good. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Might go back to this then if you're um, going to do a flat on this one. What oh, is this a chili? It's nice. Look, the fresh sauce. We've not so it's it's a a oh, it's in it. Have you got enough sauce on there, bro? You can never have enough sauce. <laughs> That's like, I don't even know to start. Like, yeah. It sounds like Wing Gandalf, then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mental having to yep. use your dip, actually, the sauce. That's like. These wings have been brined. Damn, this is. They've been brined. Haven't they? I expect so. Yeah, honey mustard. That's what it says. How mental is that in the juice of sauce? Oh my god, yeah. I've died never again. A bit of attention to detail there. 
can do is a spicy, mm. spreadable meat. Making that into a sauce. Trim a little wing roundup quickly. What's number one? For me, yeah, I like what? the tempura batter with the, what sauce did you say that was? Fermented. The fermented, yeah, because the, the, they're all really good, but that for me is interesting, interesting as. I'm not a big fan of interesting. And how about you, Matthew? What's your favourite wing? Mine, comfortably there, was the buffalo. Okay. Oh, good. I thought the buffalo was just, sometimes you just can't stray too far from the nest. It just, I think it was really good. Mm. Their own sauce had lots of flavours. It wasn't too overpowering. Very balanced. Mm. The, the blue cheese dip was electrifying, to be mm. honest. And the pineapple, wonderful little addition. That the little, pineapple was a great addition. A little, that acidic, mm. a sweet mm. explosion in your mouth. Oh dear. Thank you. I'm sorry if you're watching this pre-watershed. <laughs> Get so I just someone at home now flooding themselves in over wings. Sorry. You can't stop them potatoes, can you? No, you need to clean the pan. They do no, hang on. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's the move. A little bit of a reveal. Ooh. Yeah, it was good. Just a little bit of that on there. There we go. Oh wow, Jesus, it's falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> Mate. Yeah, delicious. Absolutely stunning. That mayo felt the mayo's, you're right, there's a, the mayo's special, isn't it? Luxurious. Mm. Your ma mayo's your favourite condiment, isn't it? It's up there. Mm. Wow. What a package. I've got to go again. I'm yeah, sorry. I was just thinking that. But what I might, what I might do. Cheese sauce, we've got mayo in there. It feels fresh. I'm going to put a bit of Nadeuja on. No, I knew that was coming. Cannot stop. Because <laughs> that is what professionals do. <laughs> One of the best chicken birds I've ever had. Wow. No, I'm going to say it, that is the best. <laughs> Sorry, chicken sandwich. You could eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Amen. That is exceptional. Amen. The bread has a character of its own. The chicken, not too much of it. My first impression when Rich Cutler was, oh, you could do it some more of that. No, you're not when you're eating it, you don't, you don't need any more than that. It's like the perfect balance of crunch, chicken, juiciness, loads of sauce, very, very saucy. That is exceptional. And a healthy amount of cheese in it as well. Don't say it, it's just like, it's just it's like filthy. Yeah. It's a mess, filthy. I mean, it's a, me it's a mess to eat, but that's, that's lovely. That was absolutely brilliant. Great whistle. Thank you. Stacked bread. That looked goody, doesn't it? That but unlike stacked. the other one, we seem to have got a bit more bit sort of action on the back part of the the burger there, you can actually see the flavour. You can see it. It's vibrating in your into your eyeballs. That, that. <laughs> the colours on this are incredible, actually, isn't it? It's, look, like, a, it's just... like a disco. Yeah, look. Yeah, Sorry about the cocktail. Mm -hmm. Oh, which mm -hmm. one's this? The split hay cream tequila. Beautiful. With the, lo with the logo in the ice. Can yeah, lovely. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely touch. We love it when we see that. Well, just in case you didn't know. Right, come on. What a lovely experience this has been. Agreed. So this one, a little bit more funky. This has got the, if I remember right, the lobster mayo. Now look at this, here's a great example. Look, the oil has definitely infiltrated the bottom bun, Callum. Yes. The bun is so good, it ha the structure of it has not deteriorated. It has the structure, the, that gluten is strong enough to, for me to hold it and be fine. It's a very thick bottom bun as well. Yeah, so that's what you want. Let's have a look. Look at that, look. Big chunk of chicken. Looks good. Yeah, man. Right, okay. Here we go. Expect, I'm expecting big things from this. Wow. The coleslaw mix in there makes it really fresh, like different to the sort of the, the slightly sloppiness of the I'm last one. secondary flavour here now. I'm on. Mm. That is my. I'm going back in. Fucking hell. What a style that has been. 
I want to know how they do their chicken. There's something, there's something in that that we've not heard of, we don't, we've not had before. In the coaching. I've been very, uh, I could eat all that, but we've got more to do, so i reserved. What a breakfast that was. <laughs> right, closing remarks. Um, closing remarks is this is this is this is up there. This is some of the. We've, I've never been here before. Matt's never been here before. But um, full disclosure, they, you, they, you told them they were coming. We were coming. They opened up. They knew we were coming. Um, they, got, they got in touch with us about Wing Fest, as good chicken wing restaurant places do. We'd love to see them at the event. I mean, this is. I'd, I'm ha I'd happily say this is elite level chicken. Yep. Um, and it's always a pleasure when you find a spot that goes straight into elite level category. Yeah. Yeah. Mollis, for me, Nottingham, is it elite? Absolutely. That chick, that plain chicken burger, comes with the best I've ever had. Big step. It was. And it, that cheese sauce in there with the mayo, just it felt fresh, tasty, silky, crunchy, not too overpacked, just like the perfect fried chicken sandwich. Okay. I hope this looks good on camera because this is really good. <laughs> Uh, if you're not salivating at home, then you need to be. I felt like that was so good. I'm going to give that an individual score. Wow. Of 9 8. Okay. That's how good that was. 9 8 chicken burger. Yeah. Bosh. That's, not, that's like the sort of score where Nottingham needs to turn out just for that burger. And the wings, for me, is a comfortable 9, nine 3, 9 4. Yeah. Fair. Around that sort of thing. A bit more time in the game, a bit more refinement. I don't know. It's just, that's a good, that's a good score for this. It's definitely no. elite. And the, these, you know, these. This buds. That's one of the best sides I think I've ever had in there. Are they a 10 out of 10? That, that's a 10 out of 10 side. <laughs> that's a 10 out of 10 side. Right, yeah. yeah. But, uh, with, with that. Yeah. On the whole, I think 9 4 would be a, a fair score here. Great, I haven't had a cocktail, but nice venue. Great staff. Elite. Yes. Fair. Yeah? Yeah. Funky flavours. Nicely executed, chicken was brined. <laughs> big first stop, then. Yeah, well the done. Two, yeah, well done, Mollis. Well done, Nottingham. Yeah, the other two have got a big task on hands there. Well, wow. all right. Right, we better go make some room. Let's go. <laughs> Daddy B pugs and Matt on a mission To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen Different places, different flavours, try different things Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?